Okay, here we are. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit the subscribe, like, follow us over at Fishing Bills on Instagram and uh, Facebook. We're on uh, Twitter as well. So we hope you like this little episode of Changing Out of Skylight. Give you a little tips and how to. And First off, this was put on with a quarter inch hex into a curb. This is a curb mounted skylight. I'm going to replace this skylight with a new Velux non operable, which means it's fixed, it doesn't open, it just lets light come through. So there's two skylights on this house. They're both fixed. The other one I took off, we cleaned the beauty ring on the inside. So if you have a skylight that has a beauty ring, you need to save that and make sure it fits with a new skylight. The skylight that I took out does fit with the new skylight beauty ring. So I'll show you that here in a second. If you can see right here, they've got four number two square drives that will pull out that will eliminate the skylight to come free from the beauty ring I call it there's probably a proper term I don't know what it is I just call it a beauty ring if you don't save the beauty ring you're gonna have to patch about five eighths of an inch of sheetrock and mud that in and texture also tape it before you put the new skylight in as you can see the little detail here, this tells me that there's a beauty ring inside, which is a plastic decorative, almost like a beadboard that runs around the interior of the skylight opening. Took off the 15 screws. I'm gonna throw them out there. Those won't go in. This is a curb mount. So be very gentle when you do this. This should come free from the beauty ring on the inside. Bob is already in the inside. Getting that loose. So let's see what we got here. Okay, so there you see the beauty ring. This up here. The turtle vent. So you guys see the beauty ring right here? This is the beauty ring. You want to save that because the new one, the new skylight will go over that. So Bob's already cut this free. You need to save this. Why? Because if you don't, you're going to have to make up this difference. Sheetrock, you can see right down here in the corner. Right here. See this difference right here? You're going to have to make that up. All the way around, you're going to have to, like I said, you're going to have to put the sheetrock in. You're going to have to tape it. You're going to have to mud a couple coats. You have a finish coat. You may have to sand texture, primer paint, that would be all day. Don't throw the beauty ring out, you have to save it. Okay. So what we'll do now is I'll run this down the bottom and we'll clean it. We cleaned up the last one. You want to get rid of all this caulking on here. We want to clean the inside for them. That way they don't have to get up in here on a ladder. It's a service that we can offer while we're here. You can see how dirty that is. And you can tell where it's been leaking in there. Not a lot. Customer was uh, pretty conscientious and caught it in time, so I saved a little bit of effort on our part. And uh, this appears to be in pretty good condition. Um, I don't know if you can get this. 
And you know that when I put the new skylight over that, you're gonna have to make that difference up. So let's go out here to show Bob what we got. We'll get him clean in this. Um, the other one's drying right now. So we can go ahead and get Bob on that. Bob, I got the other one. Oh, uh, we're good? Yeah, it works great. I might just put it on the power sander and do it. Oh, really? Well, I mean, I'm just kind of buffing it smooth so when you cock it. Is it worth sanding or not? Uh, not really? Not really. I mean, okay. Maybe in a couple of the rougher areas that I didn't get scraped that smooth. But okay. Let me get this from you. Yeah. Got it. Oh yeah, they really. <laughs> yeah, it's all. Man, they really put it on here. Well, yeah, they didn't center it up. No. Yeah, they tried. They just threw it in the hole, like, oh, no one's gonna see it. So what I mean. Then the painter painted it. Right. Yeah, the yeah, painter course. painted it, so that doesn't well, help. Maybe um, that was on purpose. Anyway, before I re reattach this, I'll have Bob go back inside, and we'll set the reveal on. The beauty ring around the perimeter of the inside opening so that it doesn't look like he didn't care and just threw it in the hole basically so uh, I'll wait for him to clean this other one so Bob's gonna go clean that and uh, right now I don't have anything to do so I'm just kind of hanging out until he gets done but yeah that's that's what we do you know we try to offer the client a uh, more detailed specialized service instead of just throwing I could have just put the old fixed skylight back over that and, and walked away I, I don't like to do that I really like to make it easy on the customer when they see it that's like finished it's done uh, they're paying for us to be here anyway so what's another 15 minutes not really a huge deal um, it's definitely worth the investment to take a little more time take some pride in what you do so that's that's Bob down there doing that so Just wash it up here. I'll go over here and show you guys the other one. There's the brand new Velux right here. These are really nice skylights for the money. They're two fifty a piece. So if you read on it, don't scrape it. Don't use a razor blade. Don't caulk it. Obviously, don't caulk it. it. Doesn't need any silicone or nothing. They give you the screws in the bag to put it in to the curb. So that works. So I can show you right here that if you don't put the beauty ring in, you're going to have to fill this void up. So that means you're going to tape. You're probably going to have to... Ideally, if you do that, you're going to have to coat the whole inside. Um, because you're not going to match that texture in a little spot the size of this. So this roof's pretty new. Um, I don't think they... We're considering a skylight at the moment, um, but they do leak a little, as you can see in here. Got a little bit of tape separation, but we'll take care of that form. We can just uh, overlay it, repaint the whole inside of the well. Um, I do know that we looked at um, putting in, because the client is a electrical Pretty close to almost electrical engineer. Worked a lot out of the area in San Francisco, so he's capable of doing his own electrical. But just for the units themselves, if you didn't want to go to a fixed unit, you could buy, um, obviously, a hand open, and then you could also buy one that's remote controlled. Remote control one was about, uh, I believe they were running about 1100 bucks a piece. So that's just not in the cards for the client plus you got to get the electrical to it so now you're in the attic um, and it is hot all the time so that you know that they do have a hand crank uh, those were running about 550 600 um, you know it just depends on where you might want it I probably would have done it myself but 
that's what I do for a living, so I could just put them in. But, you know, when you're looking at $2,400 for an investment of two skylights, it doesn't really make sense. Uh, it would have been nice to be able to open that with remote control, like when you're taking a shower, let all the steam out. But, anyway, that's what we're doing. Just waiting on Bob to clean those up and we'll center them up in the opening and uh, start with the mud process and be done. And uh, that'll be it for today. Not really trying to pack out my day so much anymore. I like to give customers what they deserve. So there you have it. Pretty simple day. Using the picture of the skylight. Yeah, that's not me on the box, so I wish it was. FCM 2246. So that means it's uh so what the 22 by 46 means is it fits a 22 inch by 46 inch, but this one will go 26 and a half to 50 and 5 eighths, which is what we have for an opening right now. And you can tint underneath the glass if you want to hire a tint guy to come if it's a lot of light. They might do that here, I'm not really sure, but it is an option. Wow, look at him go out there. Yeah, it's a beautiful day to be doing a skylight or two. See a little bit of snow up there on Mount Ashland. Elevation up there is 4,500, 5,000 feet from here. All right, I'm gonna get set up here. How much longer you got, Bob? Another five minutes? Got another five minutes? Yeah. Okay, now Bob's got five more minutes, so we're gonna start with this one. So in the package, they send you 12 of these self-drilling number two Phillips. They're probably two inches long. Um, I'm gonna use those to go in from the side of the skylight into the curb. And then for these, I'll just use a number eight cabinet screw to fasten the beauty ring to the curb itself. I don't want to try to hit two and go in because the beauty ring has some kind of um, warpage, I guess. So I don't want to try to put them both together and lock them down. I'd rather lock one and lock the other to the curb and not to the beauty ring. That way they're both independent of each other if you have to take one off. You know, if they want to clean it or they want to take it off for inspection down the road, they can just pull the skylight from the curb and then pull the beater ring from the curb also. It's just a good idea to not put them both together, um, like I said, because they do have a little bit of this just from the natural heat from up here. So that's one thing I did notice when I took them off. A little bit of deterioration, but not enough to where we have to get something different.
I got the beauty ring. We'll go throw it on real quick. Yep, one second here, I'm coming. like that. I can put, I can flex this in or out to take up the, better yeah it's in the details man how about along this line is it pretty good does it need to go in or out So 
anything up here? Is it good? Push it up. So that's why you want a guy on the inside. What's that? Okay. Okay guys, that's why you want someone on the inside. So you can set the perimeter reveal all the way around because it, it's proud about a quarter inch to maybe five sixteenths. So we want to make that nice all the way around instead of just setting it in there and then going, oh, I have to get it all set. So it's a good idea to have a guy on the inside to do that, to tell me what, because I can't see it. I could pull a tape or get a guy block and run around the perimeter, but I really can't tell. You know, it's all, you know, we try to do what is good for measuring and for the eye. So that's why it's good to have a guy on the inside. Or you guess you could run down and go in there and then screw it and then put up the guy just in the tape and grab the skylight and throw it in. So these pretty much just, they just drop right in over the beauty ring. And um, they have a gasket on the inside. That's the finished look. I'll go ahead and just put some screws. Uh, they gave me 12 screws. So that's how we'll fasten it through. Just double checking myself, making sure it looks good. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'll, uh, I'll put the screws in it. We'll hop on over and do the next one. Also, a quick note with some of these, they, they do have a little bit of play up and down. Uh, you don't really have to pull diagonal, they're, they're pretty pretty well square in every corner from VLUX. But you might want to check and see how much play you get from side to side. There's not there's not a lot on this because the beauty ring is already attached to the curve and we set that preset 5 16ths all the way around. But sometimes I've noticed that if you do a curve, and say they make it 23 and your skylights happens to be 24, 25 and a half. You want to set that even all the way around if you don't have a beauty ring. Because you will see on the inside, uh, you might see a little bit of a rubber gasket poking through. So it's a good idea to pull the tape out. Just go around and check it like this. Make sure we're good. I know we're good, we're half inch all the way around because we preset the beauty ring. portion of the video. Alright. So if you like what you saw today, make sure you subscribe. When you subscribe, hit the bell icon. Hit the all button so you get all, not just the personalized unless you want personalized.